Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we will be talking about patch 5.6 and the upcoming story in the new Flashpoint which is the traitor among the Chiss. Uh, this video will contain both Crisis on Umbara and the new Corporal Flashpoint spoilers. We'll be talking about some major reveals, uh, some major secrets that are going to be revealed to us and so if you do want to experience a new Flashpoint just for yourselves please click off this video it's going to contain heavy spoilers. I won't be spoiling everything because there's no point to that. Uh, there's some parts of the story you're probably going to want to experience just for yourself but we will be talking about the major aspects of Theron Sean's betrayal and uh, why he did it, who is the order that he's working with, those kinds of stuff. So if you do want to experience the story for yourself, do not watch this video. But for those of you who are really curious about this and want to know about it ahead of time, here we go. So uh, firstly, we'll I'll answer the questions which some of you guys are probably most curious about. And the Crisis on Umbara left us with two questions about Theron Shan's betrayal. Uh, the first question was, why did he betray us? Is he actually a double agent or does he actually want the alliance to fall? Uh, does he really want us to die? And he's also against the Republic and the Empire. So he's kind of against all these major uh, forces that are impacting the uh, world right now. And so uh, the second question was, who is the order that he's working with and uh, what do they want? So we're going to actually get an answer to one of those two questions in the new Flashpoint. And it's going to answer who the Order is. And it reveals at the end of the Flashpoint that it, it is indeed the Herald of Zildjog. Also, they call themselves in this new Flashpoint the Order of Zildjog. And these are heretics from the uh, Knights of the Fallen Empire. They believe in Zildjog, who is going to be this kind of deity that comes and destroys everything. And so... Um, it's very interesting that Theron Sean joins them. Uh, there's two possible motives to that. One, on one hand, he could actually be uh, allied with them for the sake of destroying the Alliance, the Empire, and the Republic. On the other hand, he could obviously be a double agent trying to work to dismantle the organization from within. So in essence, it's revealed to us that he is working with the Herald of Zildjog. We get no more information regarding this order. Uh, we do know what they want. Theron Sean is sent to the Ch uh, Chiss planet of Kopuro to retrieve a hollow map. Now this is a hollow map that the Chiss actually stole from the Emperor. It contains uh, the locations of the Emperor's vaults. And one of the items in the vault is, you probably guessed it, a super weapon. It always comes down to a super weapon. Bioware loves uh, to throw in these things. Iocath was a super weapon. Before that, there was a super weapon on Makeheb and everything. Anyways, the point is the super weapon can destroy entire civilizations. Everyone kind of wants it. And Theron Sean is looking for it because he's going to give it to the Order, presumably to destroy the Empire, Rep uh, Republic, and the Alliance. And so um, that's kind of the major storyline. And we're just trying to go and stop him and capture Theron and punish him. But aside from that, we get no more information about the Order. What we also don't know is whether he's a double agent. That is not revealed. However, it is hinted at at the end of the cutscenes, the last cutscene in the Flashpoint, where your character and also Lana Benico and stuff make references to the fact that his actions don't quite add up. And they're kind of confused as to whether he could actually be a double agent. They even mention it in the story. So basically, Bioware is hinting at the fact that that could be a possible story arc. It is not out of the equation. So for those of you guys who really wanted to keep Theron as a companion, and for some of you guys who were a little bit confused as to why Theron betrayed you, even if you were like a light side Jedi Knight, which doesn't make any sense as to why Theron would betray you, uh, there might be reasoning behind that, and we might see that in the future. Uh, we could also see your choices and your alignment actually matter. Maybe if you're a dark side character, uh, Theron actually betrays you for the sake of betraying you. Maybe if you're a light side character, he's a double agent. So we don't quite know. We're going to see that be revealed in future Flashpoints. I do believe there's one more Flashpoint coming next Next year uh, which will be the conclusion um, so this is not a conclusion but it is giving us some answers and that basically concludes the major reveals of this new flashpoint uh, other than that we do get some smaller pieces of information uh, mainly, when we go to the planet itself, it's very similar to Alderaan. There are these warring factions. Uh, they're not families. They seem to be organizations. And basically, your choices on the planet, who you decide to kill and stuff, will determine how those organizations kind of act towards you, whether they'll be cooperative, whether they'll kind of go against you and stuff. So that's kind of cool. I won't go into too much detail about that. I will leave a link to the data mine information in the description if you want to go and check it out for yourselves. But it's very detailed. It's very long. I'm kind of just summarizing it up. Uh, the other kind of cool thing is we get some small little bits of information of what's going on with the Republic and the Empire. Uh, with the Republic, for example, it mentions that Satil Shan is also on the hunt for that super weapon. It mentions that uh, if you killed Empress Asina on Iocath, 
then Darth Valron takes over as Emperor, which is really cool because he's quite a cool character, especially if you play the Sith Warrior storyline. He's the one who sees through Darth Barriss' farce and goes against him and stuff. And, and basically, for that reason, I quite like him as a character. So it's cool to see him take up the mantle of Emperor. If Empress Asina stays alive, then she re uh, kind of re revitalizes efforts to go on Iocath and I don't get access to the super weapon there and stuff. So there are developments on that front as well. It also mentions that Darth Valron is trying to get a war started with the Republic. So we might see a return to the original conflict. Um, I believe that sums up the major pieces of information. Uh, one final thing is a new companion will be getting is Reyna Temple. Uh, she will have some cool interactions with the Imperial agent. You'll get a chance to either kind of reignite any roman uh, romances towards her. Also, you'll have a chance to kind of reject her. So uh, that's the major companion that is returning. They also make reference to Vector. Other than that, I don't see any, any other companion uh, coming up in the story. All right, that is the end of the new information. Once again, this is patch 5.6 data mine information. It's subject to, to change and also I'm summarizing it off of dialogue. So uh, it could be different in the story, like a little bit different, but there's gonna be no major kind of different story arcs. Uh, this is kind of the direction they're taking it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I'm really interested to see whether you guys are happy about this. Uh, there are obviously some still some lingering questions that we need answers to. I would quite like the idea that if we're a dark side, Theron Chan legit betrays us. But if we're a light side, then it's a double agent. I think that would be decent. It would make it would kind of make our alignment and our choices matter a little bit. But uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.